All right, uh, Malakai here once again with an uh, update on the uh, F-150 or F-100 uh, situation. Um, for those who are following, we now have truck tires on the wheels, so you get that. Um, we have. All right, I put it in my project thread so that everybody knows, but basically this right here is the front shaft. Um, new uh, carrier bearing, new U joints for the, all three points um, from a 1995 extended cab Ford Ranger. Okay, um, what I did here was I took out uh, this from the Crown Vic uh, drive shaft. You're not going to use the aluminum drive shaft, it's too short, ain't going to freaking work anyway, so whatever. You're going to lose, if you got had the cop version, you're going to lose that speed rating kind of shit, but I don't care. All right, um, but uh, just change out the uh, U joint and put your uh, original output shaft uh, out there right uh, into the trans, and you're good to go. Now, new bearing situation. This right here um, has to be relocated slightly, about an inch. As you can see, the bolt holes are a couple inches off, so. Um, right now, Mike is over there uh, cutting uh, a couple plate steel. Now, the problem with this is, is the new plate. When you, if you use just a regular piece of plate right here to, uh, and then drill the holes, we we're just going to make a plate that mounts to the, mounts to the original spot, and then make it drill a couple holes for this on, on for the new carrier. The problem with that is um, the. The original mounting point will then hit your U joint, so you have to step it down about at least we're thinking at least half an inch, maybe more. Um, a full inch would be a little bit better. You're gonna put that at a more of an angle at the front of the trans, but there's really not a whole lot you can do about that. We would planned everything to, for that to be straight, but not realistic, I guess, as it turns out. Um, the second part of the shaft, this is brand new. This was uh, custom made by a guy named uh, Dave at Dave's Drive Shaft in Nashville. Um, this is the original Crown Vic uh, mating um, piece going to the rear diff. Um, although it appeared to be the same basically as the Ranger one, so whatever. Um, well, I still use the, the cop one because one, why not? From the Crown Vic. Um, this from center of your yoke. To center here was, if I believe, 43 and 7 eighths inches long. Um, I think you might be able to get by with just a hair longer, maybe a hair shorter, but that was the exact length that I had to make this, and it seems to fit just fine. So, um, if you want to, if you want to do this swap, and you want to put the 8.8 .8 from uh, the Crown Vic in the whole drive shaft and everything, that's the way it worked out for me. If, however, you somehow Alter and change where your front sub front uh, suspension goes in or mounts up to the frame, and you've relocated to some other location other than the exact one that I have. My numbers won't work for you. That is an unfortunate situation. I am sorry to hear that for you. Um, on the rear end, here we have the rear end. Basically, it is now, other than tightening the bolts and the shocks, 100% installed. Um, the only thing that's got to be done is we still have to, we still have not gotten around to cutting these big ugly effers off because that's not a viable thing. Um, these were a couple 12 inch shocks, um, bought them uh, from Speedway, whatever the heck it is, Speedway Motors or something like that. That place. Anyway, um, bought a couple of, uh, Brackets uh, from right here. These come from Summit Sports or Summit Motor, whatever, and a couple of just generic uh, upper shock mounts. I wanted short ones for the top and ones that were a little long because it allowed me to kind of play with where I put them. Um, as you can see, that all works. We, from previous videos, um, we now have the sway bar installed. It's uh, to the side of the frame rail right there. Uh, with a couple $10 end links. Sorry, no part number. You have to just kind of figure that one out on your own. Um, but yeah, there you go. A couple things will need to be done. You need to take these old hangers from the old muffler off. 
Um, I have new ones that I uh, put on up there so that it uses the old shock mounts. And uh, yeah, hopefully this will help somebody on their project at some point. So as you can see, this part's done. And uh, I think I probably told everybody about this. This is kind of ghetto looking because I wasn't really sure how long it needed to be and I needed to add a little more at the end, the last minute. Um, but uh, this right here is the Crown Vic uh, setup. Um, exhaust just lengthened a little. So good luck to anybody else doing this. If you got any questions? Oh, yeah, and I will measure the, I guess he wants from here or up the either up the bottom edge of the fender or here to the center of the wheel so I'll have to measure that and see where it uh, sits once the vehicle's down on the ground just to let people know what some of your drop might actually be. Alright, hope this helps somebody and uh, have fun.